Hello and welcome to another Witchtober video. I'm Shy, I'm a witchy artist and knitter and for the month of October I'm painting witches. Today's day two of my Witchtober challenge and today's painting is the bag prompt. We're still in week one so it's all about that school life. I say day two but in reality this is not a daily challenge but anyway it's easy to count it like this. Painting number two, I guess? Anyway, back prompt. What's in your bag? Maybe some spell books and grimoires, a jar of pixie dust, perhaps a magical communication device reminiscent of a small rectangular slab that lets you see the person you're talking to as if they're right in front of you? Or maybe just straight up a portal to the void? Today my witch has a little bit of a handbag malfunction. This was originally inspired by a prompt I had in my 2020 Witchtober list. The prompt was Bag Accident. I was really looking forward to drawing it, but I didn't make it that far that year, so it stayed in the thumbnail sketch stage. So naturally, I had to draw it this time around. Magic is an unstable thing, maybe especially for witches that are kind of new to magic past the regular household charms, door lock spells and making things float. So what happened here? Already late for the first class of the day, the witch grabbed all the books she would need for the day's lessons. She quickly encountered a problem. Her bag won't hold all these books. A simple bottomless bag charm should do the trick, right? Reaching into the now bottomless bag, the witch grabbed her wand, but what she didn't expect was what was held on to the other end of the wand. As she pulled the wand out, the bag erupted in a cascade of black substance? Somewhere between liquid, smoke and slime that seemed both heavy and weightless at the same time. And it had eyes. So many eyes. Don't worry about the witch. These creatures are quite harmless except for if you're trying to steal something out of the bag. This is basically the lining of a bottomless bag. The eyes are there to help find things in the inevitable mess in a bag that can hold everything. They do get hungry though and will sometimes sneak a glove or that bar of chocolate that you were certain you never ate. But maybe take this as a reminder to read the entire spell before casting it. I had so much fun painting this. I really got to try it working with my Kodetaka ink and I got a good idea of how well this paper takes ink and water, for which I can say I'm impressed. There's not a lot of ghosting, except if you go really heavy, which I accidentally did in a couple places and it did bleed through to the previous page sadly, but overall I'm happy.
For this piece, I also decided to go in with some white jelly roll. It just adds that final little touch. But yeah, that's day or painting number two of Witchtober. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already, ring the little bell notification thing so you get notified whenever I upload and leave a little comment if you like this video. Thank you all so so much for being here and I'll see you again very very soon. Have a great time, bye!